Hello everyone, welcome back to Food Review Club. Now, this is a big one. I've got a Detroit pizza man's from Butch Annie's. Are you ready? Now, I've lived here for a while, and I didn't even know that place was there. Uh, Callum on the camera tells me it used to be a burger shop, now they're selling Detroit pizza, heavily marketing it. So I've got the Detroit red top in my hands. 10 pounds 90. When he gets in. Is it gonna be any good though? Oh. Is the grand reveal. So we should see a red stripe down the middle, the classic Detroit red stripe with a high cheese crown around the outside, fluffy dough. All right. Okay, that's like a Detroit pizza from Wish. Um, <laughs> okay, cool. So we've had a few of these on the page. Uh, this is, look, look, not what I was expecting. It hasn't got much color to it, but let's let the food do the talking with the taste. Yeah? Mm. It's nicely cooked, to be fair, mate. Nice cheese cr crown on the outside. Let's see what the flavor's saying. Here we go, Cambridge. You could have an absolute barnstormer on your hands. Here we go. That piece there, no crunch whatsoever. That was like warm toast. Wow. No crunch, just go literally move to the side, look, you can see that bit there? <laughs> Should be crunchy. Just needed longer in the oven, what they've done. Ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> The, uh, the tomato sauce is really nice. That red stripe. The dough's way under for me. Very dense. It ticked a lot of boxes, but I don't mean it particularly looks that great and it's a bit underdone. What do you, what do you reckon, Gallum? Yeah, it doesn't look as light and fluffy as, as your normal Detroit pizza. And that, looking down on it, Looks a bit like they've just slapped some tomato sauce on top of some, mm -hmm. some bread. Those that are watching, red stripe is cheese and then tomato. Oh. <laughs> what is that bit? <laughs> and then uh, the, red, the, the sauce goes on top. I don't know, slice, just to just a sort of hammer this home. It just feels a little bit heavy, a little bit dense. Uh, but do you know what? If you wanted a different style of pizza, uh, and give it a go. I mean, you have got some very, very good pizza shops in Cambridge. Romy, Franco Manco just up the road. Uh, Butch Annie's. That's a shame. Looking forward to a, a good one there. I expect to see some, some herbs as well. Like, bit plain. Bit like, yeah. I'll be honest though, Callum, it's not the worst. Oh, okay. But, for 10.90, I'm really going to pull the score back. This is like, this looks like it should be around 6.50 or something like that. Yeah. At that price point, I think you can have a different score. But at 10.90, you really are competing with the big boys. Uh, bravo for giving it a go. Bravo for trying. And you're, half, you're halfway there, hence my score. And if you're new here, please like, subscribe. If you haven't already, get in the comments and let us know where you want us to go next. Now, the score. Yeah. The cheese. is like... It just tastes like basic cheddar around the outside. A cheese blend, a little bit of effort, and then have a, uh, a good pizza. That's just, that's not working for me. A bit Billy Basic. Yeah, 10.90. Time for a score. Leave it like a 4.8. Thanks for watching everyone. If you're new here, remember subscribe, like if you haven't already, Cambridge. What are you saying about that? See us big daddy B pubs and Matt on a mission To find he's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen Different places, different flavours, try different things Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?